Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 31 of my Ranks to Riches Discovery University edition. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I'm just noticing that Noah here is in his work clothes, which are pretty dressy for gardening, I have to say. So it's kind of funny. I don't know where there I was going to say. I don't know where that went. So we're going to change him into like just uh, an everyday outfit just so that he's not wearing that because <laughs> it's a bit funny. And I had a comment on the last video about the fact that I locked the door for poor um, Rosie, but her litter box is outside here on the porch. So I could either, I could just like put a gate on the porch, but what I think I'll do, and I had mentioned I might do this, is I'm going to just fence a portion of the backyard not the whole thing just because I have the garden I'd have to probably I guess I could I could put this over here instead of where it is so that it's um and then she would have somewhere to go exploring so we could like fence in this part of the garden and then Patchy could come in the house if he wanted to because we won't lock that part we'll just lock over here I'm just trying to look and see how far I don't know if the cat can probably get around <laughs> this, so I'll probably have to fence that too. Okay, so we're going to use the same type of fence that we already have. That one, because I know it was a cheap fence, and I actually want to go with uh, the drawing. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> I have to move Patchy a little bit, or he'll go out, he'll uh, go into our family inventory, and that was something we got as a gift. So let's see. I think this is it and he's staying put so that's good so we'll go here and then we'll see whether uh, that doesn't work nope that doesn't work either <laughs> okay um I'm guessing I just can't do anything that's gonna attach to there so I'm actually gonna pull this out and Let's see. I don't know how far we can go with this. Okay, hopefully that will keep them in. If we attach, we'll we'll pay attention and <laughs> at some point and just close it in if it doesn't. We'll just actually close it in. It'd just be nice if they actually had their, or maybe I can still close it in. I can't there. Uh, there. And we'll just leave it. We won't do the whole yard. We'll just do to there there but I have to go examine over here what I did so probably what I need to do is actually bring this out one more notch we'll just so it's not gonna be right against the house but that's fine so and then this tree is right on the line so I'm gonna move it <laughs> and we're gonna grab this again and go here and that's closed, but this is not. So there we go. I'll fix the um, the train paint and stuff after. And maybe we'll just, I was going to say, we'll put it over here, there. And maybe we'll just put that there. But I'll still fix the, all the train paint afterwards. But now that I've done that, I do still need a gate. Because I would like them to be able to get out of here. And... There. I'll come over here. There we go. So now that I've done that, I am going to make sure that we uh, unlock this door. Unlock. And then here we will lock this door for everyone but um, household members and a lock door for all cats there because they can all go out the other door they don't need to come in here just the household members can use it so we're good to go we have a sheltered area we have our plants that can come inside or be outside I'm just gonna move those a little bit and the cat can the kitten can come out and explore in the garden so she's not trapped all the way inside and more importantly she has access now <laughs> to her litter box which she didn't before so hopefully this should keep them in because it's all like keep the cat in because it's going all the way around and I have the bush going out and I'll probably like I said I'll adjust I'll even rearrange where that is off camera because it's not going to cost anything so but now that we're here why don't you um harvest the dragon fruits 
and then sell. I don't know what your gardening, ask for gardening tips. I don't know what your gardening skill is. Where is your gardening? Oh, you don't really need to ask for gardening tips. <laughs> I don't know if I need you to be uh, focused or not. So he, he actually, I think he, does he have, oh, he hasn't applied for, I think he's applied for university, but he hasn't gone to university yet. So we're going to supercell. That would have been a giveaway as to whether or not, <laughs> what level he was, because you have to be at least level eight to be able to supercell. So he didn't get as far as this. So we're going to supercell over there and he didn't get over here. <laughs> so I need to like change it up a little bit, a little closer to the one and there he's level 10 already. And you know what? Why don't we check pockets for seeds since we can and we'll clean this up. And there now Rosie can use her litter box. Yay. So let's check what she needs to do. She only has two classes. She's got her homework done and she has exams in both of her classes and of course with her club she doesn't really need to do I mean the only one she really could do is this so why don't we work on uh doing a school cheer since she uh you know everyone here goes to Brightchester to you Bright. so and then why don't you come and sell those paintings to collector so that or to art gallery because that one's a masterpiece and I was going to have him do some Fertilizing was what I was going to have him do. Dora. Yeah, we're going to take you off of that right now because you don't need to do that. Painter extraordinaire, you have one more masterpiece that you need. So it looks like her kitten's coming and taking advantage of the fact that she's got some yard to go. Can she come out? Can she go down? I mean, I think she could because she got all the way around in the neighborhood. And now she's, uh, I think she's also just talkative. Why don't we come tell a story? All right, we're doing this. And we got 524. Oh, right, from the paintings. <laughs> of course. So I'm pretty sure he's applied to university. I seem to recall that he did. So, so there's no mail to get. Um, but we can check for sure here. University. Yes, he has applied. So whose painting is this? It's <laughs> Noah's. <laughs> uh, and he works tomorrow at 3 p.m. and he's starting he keeps painting 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 I yeah, should probably just put him on the painter extraordinaire aspiration because he's of course because I have that as a club activity and that's why he's painting so he's like he keeps starting and he's inspired but it wouldn't count because of the fact that so let's see we're gonna get to know and we'll give her a treat and then perhaps we should do some studying for our exam. Exams that are coming, we'll study for the flower arranging centerpieces because it is spring, so it would be good to get a bee. I know there's, she's often wanted one, a uh, bee box, and I wanted her to get her flower arranging up, so she needs to still get that higher. So studying is one way to do that. So you should be good. You've got food, you've got access to a litter box. Um, do we have any toys for you? Because I know a lot of times I put the toy boxes. Oh, it's out here. We need someone to have a whim for buying you a toy. Oh, I think she knows the door is locked. <laughs> she can't go. I'm almost inclined to cheat her traits just to remove that aloof trait because I don't... I. I'm okay with the idea or the concept of them running around, but it says they look after themselves. But I have another cat who's aloof that just, that was the traits that they had. And often I get that the cat is uncomfortable, that it needs something, and it's off supposedly looking after itself in the neighborhood. So I find it, um, if they actually looked after themselves, then I would be, I wouldn't mind the trait, but they don't seem to actually look after themselves and they end up halfway across the neighborhood. So it's not really very good for them to have that trait. Did someone else paint again or did we not sell that? No, yep, someone else painted again. So she's busy studying. And so you should come and sell that to collector. You keep going over to do the gardening and you're still inspired. And you've got all these paintings you've started, <laughs> but because I didn't have, we'll put that there. So why don't you just do a landscape painting, you know? I'm guessing your painting skill must be pretty high for you to have this painting. What is it at now? It's at seven. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty high. And 
well, maybe when you're finished with that painting, why don't we uh, check our application status and see how it is. So he works from three till nine. So there's a possibility that he could continue to work while he is in school, depending on when his classes are. He has four days of vacation, which isn't very much, I have to say. And how 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 high have you got with your flower arranging, right? Um, it doesn't look like <laughs> she's leveled up at all in her flower arranging. I should make sure that we do actually have that as a, a club, act, not club activity, a perk for the club. But I have flower arranging in there. Yep, there it is, flower arranging boost. And I'm thinking I added painting. Yeah, I did. And so that's good enough. That's all we need right now. We'll see when he registers in university what he's in. So she, he's painting, and then he's going to check his status. So I'll be back. So we have our acceptance letter for Noah, and he got into, I'm pretty sure all the distinguished, yeah, all the distinguished degrees for um, Brightchester. Are you right, I should say? So yay. And she finally reached level three. <laughs> so let's go take a look at him. I don't know that I want him to, I don't know if we register him now, I don't know whether it'll put him in on Monday or start him on Tuesday. And I'm not sure that I actually want him to start on Monday. I'd rather, I guess in some ways it's okay for him to start on Monday. It's not so good for this first week. It would be tough because he'll end on Friday and it would really condense everything. But then going forward, like she starts on Mondays. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, <laughs> but she has the weekend because she started sort of like enrolled on a Friday and had the whole weekend to prepare. Hmm. It's a good question. We'll wait and uh, we'll let him enroll a little later on in the day is what we'll do just to make sure that it starts him on a Tuesday so that he at least has the weekend. I mean, honestly, I'm not really sure that I really, yeah, I think I'm going to just I think he's going to roll. He's going to start him on a Tuesday anyway. So we're going to figure out what he wants. What do we have him do? Hmm. We're going to enroll in university and then we'll decide when we pull it up. So he wants to buy a washing machine and buy a pool. Well, we're not going to buy a pool. I know that for sure. He wants to finish a painting. Well, that you can do. That's okay. Okay, so he's already level six of his career, his musician career. And we know we want to go to Ubright. So we're going to go there. Art history. Nope. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do culinary arts. I don't want to do drama. I think she's already in history. Yes. So he could do language and literature, which would let him get to the private attorney. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do the language and literature. Though if I actually was going by what he likes, he would probably be a going to fine art for this um, musician career that he's always in. But we're going to we're going to go with language and literature instead. And we will do two classes and an elective. So we'll do three classes in total for him. Obviously, we don't need him to do gardening because he's already maxed that. And I don't remember where his guitar skill is at. I would possibly considering doing that for him. But since I don't remember, I won't. I think he maybe does need that. But um, so I am going to put him in this uh, plant collecting for herbalism. Just because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that. <laughs> That's the main reason. <laughs> so we're going to stay home. And he has a couple of scholarships plus his merit for getting into the distinguished program. And we got a little bit of money back. So he still has to work on some. Yeah, so he doesn't start till Tuesday. And he has two exams. So he has his classes are 1 to 255. So his classes are all like he could go to work while he's doing this. And he only has one term paper. So, uh, but he also obviously has homework. So we may as well get him to start his homework. I had him harvest these dragon fruits so that he could perhaps fertilize some plants. 
even the dragon fruit so that they can improve and then he would uh, be able to evolve for the gardening aspiration. So what class does he have first? He has the pride and prepositions first. So we're going to do that homework first and then we'll just do the other ones. So he's doing his homework and she is probably done with studying. I don't think I want her to study more. I know they'll get tense if they study too much. So we'll put this here and I'm going to double check if she has done everything we kind of need her to do for the art society. She could do, you know what? She should do a pop art painting because she needs a masterpiece anyways. So she may as well just do one of those because she's pretty much prepared and she doesn't have papers to do. She has to study. So she's done a lot of studying for her her flower arranging and I'm just double checking where her logic is so she can study for logic too because she hasn't maxed that so that is one thing I like about Foxbury Institute is I like the brainiacs because it asks you to study for like that's one of the goals study go to office hours which can help you learn the skill to go to class focus do your homework things like that things that help with university so I quite like that particular club but I don't really like the bots of ants because I always ask them to make bots and it's so much work because you got to get all the, unless you're going to cheat and then, then that's fine. Then it doesn't take as much work, but because you have to make the mechanisms and the computer chips and then make the item for almost everything except for a chatter bot, it just takes too long. I find so I, for the most part, I haven't, I don't, I've not maxed it ever <laughs> yet. So, so she, he's doing his homework and this is his painting so we should take it off because then someone else can paint <laughs> of course and I can't take this one off and I did change locks on the door in hopes that he could come in and he's just running around in the because I don't know what the locks exactly were um but right now they are set that the club can come in and then we have access for the roommates and then the doors are locked for the cats they probably don't need to be locked for the cats because I set the club and that would automatically lock it for the cat because I, I have heard that if you have too many things on a door in terms of like lock it and then unlock for certain things then they lock stop working properly so that's why I'm not sure whether maybe I should just reset those locks but then this one is only for the household and lock for the cats is all it is Oh, we have a, oh, she got a masterpiece. Yay. So come over here and rally the troops because it looked like he was hungry and uh, he's in our club. So that will help him. Yay. And it's worth a good amount. So we can sell that on our yard sale table. I don't know what, if anything, what do we have in our inventory? That's the only thing we have. <laughs> That's it. So yay. She's got that done. So I don't think she's ever really done much with this, but I think at one point, she wants to buy a wedding arch. Well, I can understand that, but I don't know if we're going to have our wedding here because there's not really like we could, I guess we could have a little wedding area right here, but it might be better just to go elsewhere to have our wedding. <laughs> well, I'm thinking instead of doing it here. So go to the bathroom. There's lots of bathrooms in the house. And she just doesn't really have very much to do, does she? Oh, she should try and do a successful school cheer again. You know, because that's really the only organization she's got left to really work on. The rest of them, I mean, she can do the activities, but since she's already maxed it, I don't really know. Okay, go to the bathroom. Is it, like, not right there? Oh, look, she's using our gold machine. <laughs> And we have another painting that we should have her sell to collector. Now that uh, when she's finished, and let's check her needs. They could use a little bit more rallying of the troops, I'm going to say. I'm going to rally the troops again. Club gatherings, rally the troops. <laughs> He's got a question mark. <laughs> but I'm thinking that's going to be successful. So now you may as well work on some of your other homework. Where is your writing skill anyways? That's not that high, right? Because I was working on your writing skill specifically because I wanted you to um, get in the distinguished program. So I thought if that was level five, you'd have more chance of that happening. So you've got, did you get two 
done? Yes, you did. Good. And how are your needs now? Pretty good. We could probably wait. Oh, look, Lola's painting again. We like Lola painting. Okay, can we uh, scrub a you or if you're not going to go have a shower? Oh, it looks like you're about to have a shower, so we don't need to do that. You probably shouldn't be on somebody's bed. But he's not sleeping. He's sitting here chatting and he doesn't really need to sleep because he's in our club. So that need gets looked after by being in the club. So she wants to make a flower arrangement. I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to... Not the flower arrangement, the other one about the wedding arch. She wants to get creative. Um, I'm just in thinking about getting... Getting rid of this or at least just putting it out here. Okay, that's good. I don't really know where to put it because I got the garden here. It's not a very wide space, I have to say. I mean, I guess I could put all the garden stuff over here instead. Because we don't really go there. And then we could put the table here, which makes more sense because it's like closer to the house and stuff. And the reason I'm doing that is because she wanted to make a flower arrangement. And I could put this in the basement, but I think I'd rather put it outside. So we need to go under outdoors, or I think it's under creative too, but we'll go under outdoors because it's easier. And we will buy this table. And then, you know, while I'm at it, and I am I know I was already building earlier, but I had said that I was thinking of, buy, of building a room down here. I mean, we could just make this whole thing one notch bigger. There. Oh, I should probably be doing this after the bills. <laughs> but, oh well, I've already done it. So, it is what it is. And we'll put that over here. And I just want to make sure it's big enough. I want. I think I won't finish it till after the bills come. So I need to go under appliances. Uh, outdoor cooking is one place where it is. And I want to get a cauldron. And I want to see. So it does fit in here. And we would have room for a door. But we'll, we'll get that. Oh, their bills are probably not that big a deal. So we'll just get it now. <laughs> and I'll just finish this. We'll leave it as this brick coloring, which doesn't look like it's that ex that expensive. And it probably should have a stone floor, but not an expensive stone floor. I don't want something expensive if I can help it. So there's great gravel. <laughs> That's pretty cheap. I think this stone I probably would like is probably more expensive than I want to pay for. So let's look at masonry instead. Oh, well, we'll just get these there. And then we need a light. It's kind of small, I have to say, this space. But I guess they don't need a lot of room for doing this. Lighting. We'll get that type of lighting for this room. And then we need, we'll just have a regular door. There we go. So finally, she's got a little cauldron room over there. So I think that's going to be it for this part. We did a little bit of building and, of course... Noah registered at uh, university. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.